I'm Tyson Haskins and this is The Profile, where I go everywhere from Provo to Ogden to show you someone who is great at what they do. And today we're in Salt Lake City. We're going to talk to Pat Crowley. He is an entrepreneur who is pioneering an ancient form of protein here in America. I'm Pat Crowley, founder of Chapool Cricket Bars and we take crickets and we melt it down to a protein powder, add it to a line of gourmet products. So energy bars, protein bars, and then functional protein mixes as well. This makes sense for the environment that we're actually living in. It uses a lot less water. It's a healthier protein. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Well, there's one reason why we shouldn't, and it's just cultural. So I decided to, to create a, a, a product that would address that cultural element of, of not eating insects for the past couple hundred years in the United States. Most countries around the world eat insects in some form, so you know, we, we tried to draw on that cultural parallel. Incorporating insects is an incredible addition to the diversity of our food, which is important for a you know, big picture agricultural future as well as you know, personal diet. I'm from Arizona originally, an original desert rat. Um, grew up you know, in, in water scarce environments and really big into outdoors. My parents were Peace Corps volunteers, so we also you know, traveled the world growing up. So that's kind of framed a lot of my career path as well as um, kind of what we're doing at Chapool. Um, moved here for, uh, for love. My wife is from here originally and we bought a van and we moved into the van and, and traveled around for about a year in that with some surfboards and kayaks and, and two mountain bikes on the back. And then along that path, decided to come back to Utah. We really loved you know, the outdoor scene and the culture and just the healthy environment. Uh, Shark Tank was, you know, everything we were doing was trying to change cultural perceptions and, and speak to a, as large of an audience as possible. And Shark Tank has a big audience, so that was the main driver for wanting to do it, was you know, share a message. At the time we applied, we were just hand making all the bars locally here in a, a kitchen, selling them at the farmer's market around here, a couple local shops. Um, so we were a tiny company when I applied, but it was just, I submitted an email and said, hey, this is what we do. And lo and behold, they selected us out of the like, I don't know, tens of thousands of companies that, that apply. Luckily, it was able to communicate a, a bigger picture vision of not only our company, but you know, the future of the industry to uh, one, you know, the investors, but one in particular being Mark Cuban, who really can see that longer term vision. Like $2,000 we, we put into the company and then did a Kickstarter campaign and just you know, bootstrap the company, and, and so when he came on, it was it was phenomenal. We had larger growth than we ever could have done on our own, and yeah, we wouldn't be where we are today without his help for sure. We currently sell our bars, and if you go onto our website, we have a buy locally link. Uh, you can see all the, the places we're at. We're at Liberty Heights Fresh, Dave's Health and Nutrition. Uh, we're at all Harmon's locations. Yeah, just recently returned from the Korean Peninsula um, and I was speaking at the International Agricultural Exhibition. It was an honor to be able to present from the United States and North America what, what we're doing here, where there's room for growth, and how we as a global community can, can address these, these big picture items. I think one of the most inspiring things of doing this has just been from the, the reception from our customers and the community. And just to see that level of support when, you, when you're really trying to, to do something for the good, it, people get behind it. So having that, especially here in Utah, has been really inspiring. We live in a world now where boundaries and, and restrictions are just collapsing all around us. You know, if, you, if you see something in the world that you're passionate about and, and want to achieve, you, you have the ability to do it and you're not bound by just convention of, well, that's not how we did it yesterday, so you can't do it that, that tomorrow. One thing that I did originally was just ask a ton of questions. <laughs> and I think along the way, because I, I didn't have any experience in food, didn't have any business experience, and so I just asked people who did. And, and especially here in Utah, I would say people were very generous with their time. They're like, oh, wait a minute, this person doesn't have all the answers, and yet they did it. And so it's kind of this like, if they can do it, I can do it. And so I think I can at least provide an example of that. Like, if I can do this, you can do this. Special thanks to Pat for sitting down with me. Hey, make sure and give Chapool a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. To comment on today's episode, or if you know someone who would make a great profile, make sure and email me, tyson at parkcity.tv. We'll see you on the next profile.